Uh, yo, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna be showing you how to edit like Excel in DaVinci Resolve like I did in my last video. Um, so yeah. So the only thing you're gonna need today is a cinematic, like your clips and sapphire. Um, sapphire plugins that is. And yeah, so I already have my song and my cinematic here. I retimed my cinematic. It's nothing too special, but um, yeah, so the first thing I'm going to want to do is do the text. There's a, there will be a download link in the description for this preset that I'm going to use, but you're going to want to drag a fusion composition and size it down to the size of your cinematic. Then what you're going to want to do is download the, um, the preset in the description. It'll look like this. Um, you're just going to want to highlight it all. And you want to connect the drop shadow to the MIDI out. And I'm just going to put like... And highlights number 7 or something. This is the font is cool Vetica, so you'll need to have that downloaded. And it'll be really laggy. But um, once it renders, you'll see that all the settings are right. The original settings by these by this is from Cloud VFX, so go follow him too. I didn't make these. And then also for the text transition, what you want to do is go to S, white pixelate, keyframe, wipe them out, go to about 25 frames in uh, keyframe. The first keyframe should be set to 1. And then go around 30 frames in from the back and do the opposite. Like that. So now you can see it does the transition. Oh. The second part of this is syncing your clip. You can see which I've already done. So it's pretty bland right now, so we're gonna add velocity. Uh, make sure it's synced up with like the first frame the guy turns blue. I'm gonna unlink clips, go to retime uh, controls. What you're gonna wanna do is go four frames forward. One, two, three, four. Add a speed point, go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 frames back. And go 2 more frames back and add a speed point. And you want to do these two to 50%, just to 400%. And then you're going to want to add a speed point here. So this is a 50%, drag it out a little bit. Make it more like 60% or so. Alright, so that's already better. What you want to do is go into Fusion, type in S, Blur Mode Curves. So now keyframe Z distance and Y distance and make Wrap Y to Reflect. Now go back like 8 frames, keyframe again. We go for like a second or so. You don't want it to be too far. And then go to the middle keyframes and put this to like around there and then you want to just go a little bit down on the y-axis. That just gives you a nice little... Nice little screen pop there. You can also turn up the shutter duration a little bit if you want it to be a little more blurred. Next thing you want to do is go to the middle, the first keyframe on, the, or the keyframe of the kill. Type in S, flicker. And then put random frequency to 60. Keyframe amplitude, go one frame back, keyframe amplitude again, set to 0. And put this a little less than 0. And then also, keyframe this like, to the end of the kill. I didn't cut the clip, like, at the end yet, which I probably should have done. And put it to zero. So that's a really nice flicker. It's just to add like a little tilt shake. Um, I have a preset for this that I use, but any tilt shake works. Just a little like you'll see what I mean. But you just want to do the same thing with the flicker: keyframe amplitude, and then one frame back, and keyframe amplitude again. Uh, so yeah, you just want it to be a subtle shake. 
Oh, wait. Um, yeah, and then, you know, towards the end, do the same thing. Just put it to zero. I'm gonna put this down a little bit. But, uh, yeah. And then the last thing that you don't have to do is just do like a shake here and go to the first frame of the um the screen pump. Go to one keyframe amplitude and put it to zero. And what you're gonna want to do is go to X random amplitude and put it down to a little less than that. And then bring up tilt shake a little bit. Um and then see so keyframe that and then go to the middle keyframe you just wanna give it a little motion and then also put this to kind of like the end of the blur markers um so hopefully this will render so you can see that all looks pretty good together and uh, yeah, that's it. You just do that for every clip. You can add some other effects as well. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.